A true superstar inside the ring and out. <laughs> a fellow Gator. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Live Oak, Florida. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neil. You know, Titus O'Neil is not only an incredible athlete, but he learns from his mistakes. Notice Titus walks to the ring these days. He learned his lesson at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah, when he tripped and slid <laughs> head first under the ring. Very successful entrepreneur, active in the community. Well, there is one guarantee where Cesaro goes. Feats of strength always follow. Saxton, can you try a feat of silence, please? No, I cannot. I said please. And his opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! Yeah, Cesaro has held tag team titles with many different partners, even a former United States champion. Just look at the focus, the intensity, the drive on the face of Cesaro. It sure looks painful to be thrown against the steel mesh. What does it feel like, Corey? It feels like the cage is a cheese grater going down your body. The steel mesh is just raking at your flesh. There's no doubt that the steel cage can become a torture chamber. That's why you see some superstars trying to get over the top as soon as they can. Not so easy when your opponent is nipping at your heels like a rabid dog, though. Cesaro's caught with a reversal. Oh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Heading up and maybe heading out. Oh, with authority! Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. Look out below! Oh no, he comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Oof, kind of a rough landing. And that's what you gotta expect in a steel cage match, Saxton. Flash! Referee in position. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. He might have been putting the cart before the horse with that pin, but it was worth a try. Double stomp. He's getting a little better now. The added pressure of the steel cage may be getting to it. Counter. And now there's an opening. Ah, oh, what a smash. That was just insulting. Straight jacket locked in. Boom, German suplex. How can a superstar use the cage to their advantage? It's as much a weapon as it is an enclosure. Pinfall, submission, escaping the cage, it's all much easier when you're using the unforgiving steel to keep the opposition down. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. He's looking down on the cage from the top. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. Ooh! Fortitude being tested with every step. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. He's reached the pinnacle of his climb here. As he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. He just has to swing that leg over. Looking pretty precarious up there at the top. Oh, not from up there. No, 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 no. Crash and burn. That is a rude awakening for a guy who thought he was about to make his escape. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence
confidence is starting to build. He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. He swings that second leg over the top of the cage. He won't be long now, making the long climb down to the winner's circle. Can he finish the job? Yeah. And there's the survival of this steel cage match. Question the toughness on display here tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. Oh man, guys, the Swiss Superman just met his mortal weakness tonight.